Welcome back to the channel. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at something really incredible. We're going to be looking at combining a soft body simulation with a cloth simulation. So this is actually two different things happening here. This cube here has a soft body simulation happening and this cloth here has a cloth simulation. And you can actually see that this is a real dynamic interaction. I'll show you here quickly so you can see this is actually interacting. As you can see over here, the cube is actually making its own weight fall onto the cloth and is causing this rippling effect. So this is really fantastic. There's no cheating here. It's just two simulations that are different interacting with each other. And this actually looks a lot like a rigid body simulation interacting with the cloth, even though it's not. And there's a way we're going to make it look like that um, by adding some rigidity to the soft body. And that's really the trick to this. As far as I know, you can't do a rigid body and cloth simulation yet in Blender, um, but I'm sure that'll be something we can do in the future. So let's jump in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little Blender tutorial and that it's helpful. So jumping into Blender, we're gonna go ahead and with the default scene here, we'll just go Shift A. We'll go to our mesh options and add in a plane. With this plane active, let's just tab into edit mode so we don't affect the scaling. And we're just gonna go with everything active. We're just gonna go S5 and hit enter. So it's five times bigger. And if everything's still active, we'll right click and click on subdivide. Then come down here to the subdivide tab and let's give it something like, I don't know, 40 cuts. You can go with more if you want or less. I think that's just gonna work good for this demonstration. And because we want this cloth to actually hang in the air and suspend, we're just gonna go ahead and holding in shift, we're just gonna select while we hold in shift these four corner vertices, as you can see here. And we're gonna go over to our object data properties. We're gonna create a new vertex group by clicking plus, and we're gonna click on assign while these four are still active. And now they're assigned to that group. You can test this by deselecting and then coming over here and clicking select, and you should see they become active. Okay, we're gonna go back into object mode. We're gonna select the cube. We're gonna go G, Z and move it up like so. So it's hanging above here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the cloth here. That's gonna be at the bottom. We're gonna go over to our physics. We're gonna give it a cloth. And let's start by going down and we're gonna go over to the shape. We're gonna come here to the pin group and select that group. And now if we come to frame one and we hit the space bar, we can see our cloth simulation is hanging. And then we're gonna go down a little bit further to collisions and enable self collision. So now let's select the cube. Let's go over to our physics tab and we're gonna give it a soft body. We're gonna turn off goal. And to make this cube not be too floppy, we're gonna come over to the edges and we're gonna come to the pull and push and select both these values and just make them 0.999 and hit enter. We want them to be as high as they can both be. And I think that's the limit. If you just went and typed in one, it'll just cap it at 0.999. And we also just want to come down here to the bending and let's make this a value of 0.9. And if we want these two to collide with the cube still active, let's go ahead and give it a collision. And then with this new collision tab, we're just going to go down to soft body and cloth. And let's take this dampening amount, let's make it 0.8. Likewise, we're gonna select our cloth and over our physics tab here, we're gonna give it a collision as well. And going down to the collision tab, we're gonna to go to soft body and cloth, change this dampening to 0.8. And now if we go to frame one in the beginning of the timeline and we hit the space bar, we should see we now have something that looks pretty cool. So we have a soft body interacting with a cloth and it almost looks like a rigid body in this sense. So let's make this look even better. So we're gonna first of all select the cloth and right click and go shade smooth. Then let's select this cube and let's go over to our modifiers. Add modifier, search and type in bevel and just give it a bevel modifier. And then let's bump up the segment count here and then let's right click and go shade smooth with that. I'm also just gonna to come to frame one and I'm gonna press A to select everything. Just go G, Z and move, move both of these up like so. And then from frame one, we'll hit the space bar and now you can see that's looking really, really good. So let's do something here. We're gonna select the cloth and we're gonna go add modifier search and type in solid, give it a solidify, give it a little bit of thickness. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our cloth section here in fact, let's go over to the physics panel here. We'll get more options. 
And under our cloth, if we go down to the cloth tab here, we're gonna just go down to the cache. Let's give this something like 150 frames to cache and let's click on bake. Then let's select our cube and let's come over to the physics here and let's make sure we go to the soft body and go to the cache of the soft body and let's give that 150 frames as well to cache. And let's go ahead and click bake for that. And now it's baked that in as well. So now both of these are baked. So if you made any changes to this, you'd have to go back into your um, physics tab, delete the bake and then change the settings and then run it again. But this is what we have. I'll also make this 150 frames on our timeline. And now we have our camera and our scene. So we're gonna press zero on the number pad to go into the camera view. And you can now just grab your camera and adjust it. Shift A, you can go to your light options and add in an area light. G, Z, and move it up. Go to your light properties and give it a strength of 300 and a size of three meters. And now you can go over to your render settings, change the render engine to cycles. And then under your render properties here, just go to your max samples and make it 55. And now if you go Z and you go rendered, you can see this. So you can always grab your light. You can duplicate it by going Shift D and you can rotate the new duplications to add in more light to your scene. And then you can simply select the cloth. You can go over to your material properties and go new. And what I like to do is come here to the base color and I'm gonna change this over here to a checker texture. And then you can come here to the scale and you can adjust it. So I'm gonna go something like this and I'm gonna take the color number two over here and just make the value a bit darker. Then I'm gonna select the cube and under the material properties here, it already has a default material. So I'll just go ahead and change the base color to a nice red. And there we have it. Now we have this cool looking render. So I'm gonna go ahead, shift A as well. And I'll quickly add in the plane. And I'll just go S to scale that way up. And then I'll just move it down a little bit. Like that, just so we have a background. And then I'll go to the materials with that plane selected and just give it a new material and make the value here a little bit darker on the base color. But this is what we have, a very simple little um, setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just save this to my desktop. And let's quickly go and drag through it. And let's hit the space bar and let's just see what happens. There we have it. We now have a beautiful looking um, cloth and soft body simulation combined. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I will be uploading this blend file to my Patreon if you guys wanna check it out. All of that will be in the description and I'll see you guys next time.